My name is Obie Melanie. I'm uh, one of a new generation of Nigerian filmmakers taking the magic of Nollywood to the rest of the world through what I call quintessential African narratives with universal soul. I've just made a TV series. My first TV series is called Calabash. And I'm excited about it. And Obi, what is the story in The Calabash? The Calabash looks at what I call the on the belly of uh, the banking sector in Nigeria. Um, Nigeria being the largest economy in Africa, um, the banking sector is a very important sector. But there are lots of goings on in that sector that, you know, to the ordinary banking customer, um, they don't see. You know, um, so Calabash tries to, to look at that world and try and look at the relationships that people build, you know, between customers and between um, the staff, between the staff themselves and their clients and the pressure they're under. It's a rather sassy expose on the, on the banking sector in Nigeria. And widely watched? Yes, it's on Africa Magic, um, one of their premium channels, um, has a good following. Um, we are in our second season now, um, but I shot a hundred episodes of it, which it's I quite think ambitious. very ambitious. Uh, but I consider that to be my biggest training in filmmaking because what I learned from that process cannot be thought in, every, in any film school whatsoever. And so what will happen in season three? What will happen to the characters then? They evolve. Um, the characters I've got um, following now, particularly two of them. One is called Chinda, the other one is called Doris, and they, they, their journey continues. Chinda, they're both successful bankers, but using different techniques. Chinda uses what she has, and unashamedly gets what she needs, um, while Doris trusts her, got in, her guts and her instinct to, to pursue success through slightly more morally balanced routes. Um, but, you know, they've gathered momentum with their, with their fans, and, and the story is going to involve a lot more characters. It, it, you know, the, the first season concentrated mainly on one bank, which is the central bank, Alpha Bank. It's now going to escalate to other banks, um, Golden Bank and some of the other characters from other banks to see it as a, a more of an industry-wide story as opposed to one um, commercial bank. The season three is near completion. Um, we are at the very early stages of season two. I think altogether they're on the 30th or 32nd episode mm. in terms of its scheduling. Um, but being online, you know, who knows yeah. when people might see this. But the important thing is that we have 100 episodes of the Calabash and it will be on Africa Magic exclusively for the first um, year, and then subsequently we would um, have to escalate it to all other platforms. And your most recent film is called Thy Will Be Done. Tell us, tell us what that's about. Thy Will Be Done. <laughs> yes, um, Thy Will Be Done was a collaboration with Iroko TV, um, who are um, very important uh, in terms of where Nollywood is going globally. I felt an affiliation with them would not be out of place and we made this, you know, relatively small budget film that that epitomizes Nollywood, you know, trying to take a budget that will not shoot a short in other territories and making it, squeezing every ounce of value, commercial value from it and making a commercial cinema, uh, theatrical film that 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 cannot shoot a, 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 TV, a, a TV one episode of a TV series yeah, in yeah. other territories so it's a, it's a, a small budget with very huge ambition it tells the story of this pastor played by Ramsey Noah who's one of Nollywood's um, stalwarts uh, he plays this pastor who has an easy comfortable life managing one of the biggest churches in Lagos um, only for the wife that he thought he buried seven years ago to surface and, you know, throw the hammer in the works. Because um, he is remarried. He is remarried, obviously, and, and he's settled in his present marriage, and this happens. And because of the guilt he felt in what happened to the previous, the, the first wife, he, he made certain decisions that, that put him at loggerheads with both women, put him at loggerheads with the church, and he had to make very strong calls about where he goes with his future. But when you have two wives, as most people will tell you, you, you are caught between the devil and the deep sea. And if you make the mistake of spiting one of them, 
Hell had no fury like a woman scorned. 